Well, Sinead, the evacuations are underway again in Aleppo, where thousands of rebels and civilians are being taken out of the war-torn Syrian city after days of delays. Among the evacuees, 50 children who were trapped in an orphanage. Fox's Connor Powell has a closer look now at the fragile ceasefire that's allowing those evacuations to happen. The buses are rolling again in Aleppo. Tens of thousands of civilians, along with a handful of remaining rebels, evacuated Monday from the last pocket of land they still control in a city which was once a rebel stronghold. Among the evacuees, hundreds of unaccompanied children, many badly in need of medical attention. These are the children we were taking care of in East Aleppo in a children's home. We were waiting for them and they arrived, thank God. The evacuation started last week, but were halted almost immediately by diplomatic wrangling. They resumed only to be halted again after an attack on the buses, with both sides blaming each other. Now, a fragile ceasefire seems to be holding in Aleppo and other flashpoints across the country. I want uh, for, my, for my kids a uh, good future, but uh, this is the matter here because they, they make us uh, leave our country. But most observers say it's just a temporary lull. And even Assad's victory in Aleppo won't bring an end to the war. President Obama has been pressuring Russia to step up its efforts to restart negotiations with the Assad government, pushing for a political transition as a way to end the fighting. There needs to be a broader ceasefire that can serve as the basis for a political rather than a military solution. In Jerusalem, Connor Powell, Fox News.